Well, hello there guys and welcome to another Simple Rockets 2 mobile tutorial. Again, you asked for it, so here we go. We're going to go to the Mars-like planet. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll just leave it at that. We're going to be flying our um, little flippy rover that we flew in one of our, my previous streams. Since the last tutorial was about rovers, I thought it was fitting that we would fly a rover. So, without further ado, let's get having a look at Delta V. So, our, our total Delta V is around 8,500 metres per second, which should be plenty, and we've done it before, so we know it is plenty of fuel to get to Mars to land this rover. To get back is going to be in another video, but for this one, this is simply just how I get there, and how I do it. I'm in no way a professional and I don't see myself as that. I just do noob tutorials for people that I might actually help. And I seem to be helping quite a few people so I'm very proud of that and thanks for watching. And remember if you haven't subscribed already then please do because that is a massive help and we're well on our way to a thousand subscribers right now. Right so all the plugging out the way, we're going to set our current heading. Doesn't really matter, we're just going to launch now because um, I'll show you why in a minute. So, first thing you want to do is obviously just get into orbit. So, we are going to time warp a little bit here because you've all seen it being done plenty of times before. So, yeah, we're well on our way. This is quite a small rocket for going to Mars, but you don't need a huge rocket. Size does not matter, it's power and performance. That's all that matters in rocketry. Right, so we've reached 100 meters per second, so I'm going to start pitching over to about 80, well, it's 74 degrees there. Until we say our apoapsis on the orbit line get to around 10, which it has, and then I'm just going to hit the prograde marker so it will lock on and turn automatically right we are getting up to around 30 kilometers up now so we're on the right track we're about 45 degrees at 40 kilometers apoapsis so that is perfect here we go we're getting up to the 50s want to be about 60 now yep yeah. and now because we're at 70 we want to just pitch all the way to zero because the atmosphere ends at 80 but we're going to turn that time warp off but you want to make sure you steered about 80 you don't want to go too high because too high of it oh, absolutely you're just wasting fuel you want to be closer to the surface as you can so I'm just going to pitch down. Pitching down might seem silly, but it's going to stop your apoapsis getting extremely high. See, mine's gone up to 99, but that's that's doable. And we've also run out of fuel, so we're going to ditch this stage. We're just going to ditch the fairing now, because it's going to make no, not much difference at all. Right, we're going to bring that throttle all the way down and engage that engine. Right, we can hide that now, because we won't need that. We're just going to start doing auto burns. Okay, so there you go. Let's go on the map view. And you can see our wrap wraps is over there in a couple of moments time. What you want to do is you want to create a maneuver node on that. As close to the mark as you can. And you're going to bring it all the way out. Until you get to a decent size orbit. It doesn't have to be perfect because remember you leave in orbit. So it doesn't really matter. We're just going to keep it at that. I'm going to hit this little um, flight info window. I'm going to lock that manoeuvre in. Put it on auto burn and warp to the burn. So then here you can see it's auto warped and it's auto burning straight on that marker. You can see a little countdown there and accuracy is high. If that accuracy goes down to low then you just want to cancel the burn and do it yourself. 
because otherwise you're going to get yourself in a heap of wasted fuel. So we'll just make sure that accuracy stays on high the whole burn. There you go. You can see on the orbit information here that we are getting into orbit now and we are in a stable orbit. Right. So that's that part over with. How much delta V have we got left? 3,395. That is perfect. Right, we're just going to close that window for now. Going to zoom all the way out. And this is the Mars-like planet over here. You want to set that as a target. Now, as you can see, Mars is behind the Earth planet. So what you want to do is you just want to time warp. Until, try and keep the view so Mars is at a 45 degree angle. I mean, you don't have to do this time warping. You can do it a different way. But I'll show you that in a moment. So we're at about a 45 degree angle in front of Earth. That's the most perfect angle. You could do it where you just burn straight out. I'll show you that in a second when I... Um, when I actually do this burn. So you want to keep an eye on this line. You see this the the orbit line for um for Earth here. You want to keep that line in mind. Oops, wrong way. Turn it around. It's a bit funny to use the camera in this um in the mobile version. So the line is straight up and down still, which is good. Okay, so, you see the sun there, we want to burn around here, which is the back side to the sun. And then you just want to zoom all the way out with that manoeuvre open, and then drag it. Drag it all the way, keep going, keep going, keep going. Until you see your orbit line, there we go. See, and there we have it. We're getting into the same line as that, as Mars. So if we click here, you can see. If we click along the orbit line, how close we're actually getting. So you want to just pull the blue markers a little bit until you get close enough that you're going to get a capture. So you just want to play with the green markers and the blue markers. If you want to turn the sensitivity down, go into matte options, sensitivity, and turn it right down. That will give you more chance to spot the to spot the actual encounter. Oh, did you see that flicker? That flicker of the line means that you've got an encounter. So we'll just pull it out a little bit. We did miss it, but that's fine. We can also um, we can um, what am I trying to say? Change that when we get to it. But right, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the plan burn, lock that in, auto burn, and time warp to the burn. So as you can see, accuracy is still on high, so that is perfect. And you can see, just like the moon. We're firing just as it's coming over the horizon. And that is the perfect opportunity to, to burn. As long as you're at that 45 degree angle where Mars is in front of the Earth. So that should be fine. We might have a little problem here where we're dipping into the atmosphere. No, that's actually fine. We're not. That's fine. So we'll go back into the map view and see the um, burn time that's left here. And we'll just watch it from here. I wouldn't suggest time warping while you're in an auto burn because it just throws it entirely off.
So yeah, that's slowly going down. You can see there's a thousand meters per second left to burn. And if we look in our flight window, we can see we've still got 2,000 meters per second in this stage alone. So there's plenty of fuel. And by the way, guys, if you do want to download this craft to fly it yourself, then the link's in the description to my profile on Silver Rockets 2 where you can just download every every rocket aeroplane, everything that I've made in the um, in my videos. And this one is definitely on there. This one I've simply just called uh, Mars Rover. All the staging set out for you perfectly. All you have to do is download it and fly it. That's it. And there we go. So you can see we've now got our orbit set up. We're just going to time warp until we get out of the Earth's atmosphere. So we can see our approach on the orbit line. There we go. You can see our approach over there. We couldn't see it before because we're still in um, Earth's sphere of influence. So you want to go about halfway down your burn, halfway around your orbit. And then you just want to play with this green marker. You see that? You see how... Um, and then if you want to zoom in to the little where your encounter is, we're very close. We've got... If it looks like it's a V, then you're very close to the surface and that's what you want. You want it to be the sharpest V you can get. So that'll do for now. We'll just burn it to that and um, see how that goes there. Sometimes it, it does um, mess up, but you can see how little fuel that actually took. Because the further away you burn from the planet, the... Um, the more efficient it actually is. Right, so zoom in on this again. It's very finicky. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set a maneuver right around here when we're a couple of days from the planet. And then I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see what's happening. Okay so that's what you want to aim for, you want to make sure that you're trying to get an impact just so you're as close as the planet as, as possible. So if we just do a time warp here remember to quick save the whole process because otherwise you're going to be in for a world of hurt if something goes wrong. Hopefully I'm going to have enough fuel, I should have enough fuel So there we go, we're still for an impact um, approach there. We should have plenty of fuel. So I'm, I'm going to do a quick save because quick save is a pro tip for life. <laughs> right, and then we're just going to warp till we get into the planet's sphere of influence. Right, so what I want to do is we want to aim We'll set the manoeuvre to put it barely above the surface and you know it's gonna it's gonna alter it a little bit so it'll be a little bit higher than that, what we put set it to. So we'll see we set it to seven kilometers there. I'm just gonna lock that in and warp. We want it to be as low as possible but not too low that we're gonna come in too fast. So there we go, we're about 13 kilometers, right? So we're going to do a quick save here for next time. Right, and then if we go retrograde now, and then just warp. Until we start entering the atmosphere. Warp a little bit more. Until we see the ship starting to, to move a little, we'll add some thrust. 
we haven't got left a lot in this stage that's it for this stage so we'll let that go and we'll put oh that was a close one <laughs> and we'll put these engines on So we are coming down quite fast, but that's fine. We're not in the 3,000 meters per second range, so that's fine. But we are getting low, so what I think we're gonna do is just power on our engines, burn a lot of fuel, but also make sure we're coming into the atmosphere and gonna stay in the atmosphere. We want to make sure we're actually going to land and not just skip off. So here we go, we're bringing it in, bringing our apoapsis in, making sure it gets low enough that we're actually going to do a landing and not orbit. So we'll just stop it there. Now you can see we're actually coming in for a landing, we've got an impact. We're going to put the engines on a tiny little amount just so we've got that stabilisation. We're going to put this to above ground level rather than altitude because altitude is wrong. Now you can see our surface speed is coming down quite a bit. I want to make sure it's right down before we open them chutes because we don't want it to to flip out and destroy itself. Wait till it's about under a thousand here. Right, and then we'll just deploy the chutes now. As you can see, it stopped us quite firmly. We can get rid of this wing window now. We know how much fuel we've got left due to the bar. And we're just gonna drop the power. Now we've got the, oh, I don't know why that happens sometimes. But now we've got the, um, the parachutes for stabilization. We don't need any other kind of stabilization. So we don't need to burn any fuel yet. Remember guys, this craft is available to download in the description below. If you want to download this to try it yourself. Old little flippy here. So we're not far off the ground now. We should start seeing our shadow really soon. The shadow is a good indication of how fast you're going because... Relatively, you can't tell. So here we go. We're just gonna lock our head in here. Put on some fuel. Burn, burn, burn. Get that surface speed down. Down, 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 and drop. And there we go. We've dropped our rover and the the engines have disappeared. There we go, flying around. Should have really set it up so it disconnects the um, parachutes when it does that. But yeah, there we go. We've got our little rover now. So you can drive around, flip over and stuff. And there we have it. That's how you get the to this planet so if you did enjoy and you did like it then please do leave us a, uh, a like and subscribe because subscribers really make the community work so thank you for joining us and i'll see you in the next one